Hey guys, we're on. Um, hey guys, Jake here from Jungle VRS. Here today is uh, Merd Zamzu, Zamasu, the YouTuber. Um, up, today we are talking about or Yu-Gi-Oh Oricas. We will be uh, like uh, basically chatting about Orica, Yu-Gi-Oh Oricas. So this will be pretty cool. I'm also like. Uh, we're on Skype right now, uh, so glad to have you, Stefan. Still there? Being here. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, today uh, we, the podcast will be about uh, Orcas, Yu Gi Oh! Precisely. Anyway, mm -hmm. uh. <clears throat> the hardest part about an Orca is making one. Don't you agree? Yeah, honestly, I only I come up with the great memes and some of the effects that they come up with. Yeah, basically, uh, plus other stuff about orcas. Right now, I'm right on like, uh, let's compare some uh, orca cuz that I find on like Google. I mean, Google uh, has like a lot of uh, different uh, stuff. I wonder where I can, uh... uh anyway, I'm just... Anyway, uh, have you seen any, uh... So, Stefan, have you seen any, uh... Um... Orcas... Before? Online? Stefan? Other than the ones that show, one show me about the silver chuckles? Um... Not... Not at all. I was the one who showed the super knuckles and that dude that created them should be applauded for it. That's true. Uh, well, there's also a lot of like different like uh, sites where you can choose to uh, actually actually uh, find uh, orcas and some of them are quite crazy. Some of them are cool, crazy, and a lot of different other stuff. Really overpowered too. And can be overpowered too, but some of, some of them can be tokens. Some of them can be other words like, yeah. I've been working. I can already tell like a lot of people like work on these things pretty good. And I still don't understand. Why. <laughs> so anyway, uh, let's talk about. So anyway, um, where are you? Our, hey Stefan, uh, when, um, uh, I'm getting tongue tied. Um, Take your time. So, okay, uh, why don't you say something, Stefan? Uh, well, um, I'm not very much of an artist, but however, I came up, came up with some great names like Grados, um, Filios, Sionos, and Thrados, the dragons that I, that I need. Yeah, all right. Um, I'll send you. I'll send up like, if you don't know, I'll uh, I'll uh, edit like uh, something in the description or something like an image to show. Oh, yeah, I remember those. Some they're somewhere in my computer. I'll just post them on Facebook later. Okay. They were the prototypes. Types. So uh. Anyway, uh. Their orcas aren't just fake cards, but they can also be uh, original cards too. Yeah, they're yeah, and also you can e even see the you can see some of them in uh, in their uh, U.S. anime form. I never understood why they didn't like keep that for the uh, for the anime in uh, American because uh, basically I never understood that. Why do they make, like, uh, the uh, cards that have effects have, like, just, like, the image with a thing on the bottom? I never understood that. Huh. What are your thoughts on that? You're breaking up a little bit. Oh, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Alright. Like I said, you know the Konami doesn't want 
you know, people being too creative. True. It's kind of sucks. Okay, kind of like does like, I guess it kind of is creative a little bit. Yeah. I guess it is kind of creative, but uh, eh, well, what the heck? Actually, pretty cool still, but uh, still. There's also a lot. Orcas have been around like for a while. Trust me, I've I've been like surfing the internet for years. Just looking for images. Mm -hmm. Also, I once heard about this uh, one uh, orca like like creator who can actually who actually creates these uh, decks online. I'll send you. Uh, mm -hmm. I think he actually like has these uh, boxes uh, that uh, basically can actually. Uh, he actually has these decks that he makes that can actually uh, create, that like have these awesome, they, I mean they're really like original cards, like basically, I don't know how he makes these, but I've seen reviews online, it's pretty crazy. Awesome. Anyway. Anyway, back to the uh, thing. Uh. Stephen, you haven't been saying much this whole podcast. Well, I'm just, I'm just waiting for my turn. Oh, um, I'm opening up some beers on some orcas. Now, the one, the one monster I really, really love, I, it's, it's a more dark magician type. However, he's a... I wouldn't say dark magician exactly, but however, I'll call him Dark Magician the Knight. Oh, yeah. The Dark Magician Knight. The girl or... Because basically there's a new card like known as Dark Magician the Dragon Knight. Not the dra Dark Magician the dra Dragon Magician girl, the Dragon Knight. Sorry, I kind of stuttered there. Okay. Okay, anyway. The whole, like... I don't understand. I don't know where like basically people came up with orcas, but uh, I think it's a pretty good like way to actually uh, like experience the anime in their own kind of way. I guess in their more of a collector thing or just something good to have in their collection. Yeah. Oh, I, I remember something. What? So it's also came out a blue eyes monster. It's a name. Yeah, it's a name. But it's blue eyes radiant dragon. The king. Right? Blue Eyes Radiant Dragon. I think it might be good, like, for a Blue Eyes deck or something. Yeah, I'm wondering why the, the Konami didn't put it in there. I'm really confused about that. Yeah, oh, uh, wait, there joke. was a dragon known... Wait, there was a dragon known as Blue Eyes Radiant Dragon? Was no, it I'm... Dark Side of Dimensions? Or was that the other, like, Blue Eyes... Radiant Dragon. Wait, uh, I'm Googling it right now. Right now. Okay, bro. Yo. Ooh. Remember, it's Blue Eyes Radiant Dragon the King. Well... I'm looking it up, and uh, I don't think it's, there's, I think the only thing is it's Shining Dragon. Oh, good. He's not Radiant, so. It's actually, I think, uh, well, it's Shining Dragon, so yeah. Hmm. I didn't really see it much. I mean, blue Eyes Shining Dragon is, like, kind of good, but uh, it, you'll need, like, a blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon in a deck for, for you to actually cut, pull it off. Really? That's... <laughs> Difficult. Yeah, it is a difficult card. I mean, its effects are pretty good, I think. But uh, either way, in a modern dueling age, um, I'm pretty sure it's not very good. Trust me. Is it? Is it badass that came up with a, a with the element the hero, element the hero, element warrior? Element warrior. Huh. Element warrior is an element the hero that I came up with, and it's a. It's, it's a it's a it's a it's a light warrior type, and it's, and it's a normal monster. Oh, that's cool. That's now, cool. 
So basically, yeah, it's like basically an, another normal monster. Yeah. For the element. It's not on par with Neos, but it's close. That's cool. Uh, so it's, it's like. Level uh, seven. So it's also a level 7 normal? Yes. Okay, that's actually a pretty good idea, huh? Anyway, uh. I uh, know that basically. I'm losing my train of thought. Um, uh, so, yeah. So, uh. Huh. Yu Gi Oh! What else? I also create. And seeming that we're on the topic of creating cards, uh, what. I got. I could, like, uh. uh kind of getting tongue tied a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. Go ahead and talk what, if you want. Thing did, um, since YouTube only allows me to, you know, record 15 minutes or less. Okay, so, I think that should be our video here. Um, uh, it's been a while, so uh, yeah. Um, this, I'm Jake, and uh, that's Merzamasu. Merzamasu. <laughs> Thanks for watching our video. video. Um, don't forget to subscribe to Merzamasu. Sue in the comments below. And basically, uh, man, I'm bad with endings. Well, that was awesome. And we'll see you again. And make uh, don't forget to subscribe to both our channels and see if you want to see another podcast. Uh, maybe reach, I mean, like, uh, yeah. Let's try to reach 50 likes. <laughs> try to make 50 likes. <laughs> That's a good goal. <laughs> At least leave my, a like or subscribe if you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you guys uh, some other time. See ya. See yeah, bro.